Hey YouTube, it's Cape Cod Coda. Uh, those are the, these are the seventy dollar um, two thousand seven Ford Explorer Ironman rims. I put wheel spacers in the front uh, because I got two sixty five seventy eighteens on there. Uh, if I went with a little narrower tire, there was two thirty fives on there originally on the 2003 and on the 2007 so if I had put 235s back on here I wouldn't have had a, any kind of clearance. I could use a wheel adapter in the back it's not rubbing but it's close enough where you might want to put a wheel spacer in the back in the front I had to do a wheel spacer because the middle hub um, when, it, when you put the rim on the hub where the hub comes back to the rotor um, it has a lip on it and the wheel wasn't sitting flush against the rotor. Uh, at least that was the, that's what the the uh, tire shop said. So I went and bought some spaces and threw them on there. Uh, now now the rim is on there. It's tight and everything. It's low. It's down on the ground. Um, with the 265, 70, 18s that I have on here, the BF Goodrich tires. Um, the when I turn the wheel from lock to lock, it does touch this not the plastic but this felt piece in the inside um, and it touches up here also on the front sway bar um, again if I didn't go with the 265 and I went with the original 235 and maybe if I went with a smaller height I wouldn't have had a problem I there was a set of two 245 was it? I think they were 245, 40, 18s that were online. They wanted $100 for the set, $50 to install. But I thought the sidewall would have been too narrow. It would have been just about almost half of that. It would have been probably on top of this BF Goodrich, um, the 40. So that's where the tire would be. And I just thought that was, would have been too low. Um, especially I wanted some height when I had the trailer on there. I don't know how much it's going to sink down when I put the trailer on there. But uh, I'll stand back again so you can see what the wheels look like. Um, it's later in the day. It's just about to get dark. Surprised it looks so good in the video. Um, Cape Cod Cuda signing out. 2003 Ford Explorer Sport. It's the standard model, the XLT. I have the... Um, the uh, sport track rubber floor in there. I have the Ford Ranger cup holder around the shifter, and uh, I upgraded the stereo um, to a disc CD player with the tape deck, the Platinum Series, and uh, looks pretty cool, huh? Looks newer. It's 2007 rims, the uh, Iron Man rims, so it makes my truck look a little newer. Makes it, and I had the black wheels on there for a little while, so it looks brighter, too. So, Cape Cod Cuda signing out. Thanks for watching. And I have to wash my truck now because I have these nice new wheels on my truck. No car, car brash at all. Nice wheels. $70. $130 for the tires. So, uh, $300 for rims and tires. And then another $18 for the wheel spaces in the front. Two of them come in the package. Cape Cod Cuda signing out. Again, thanks for watching. Stay small, keep it all.